Johnson with fight off with Rose Thug Nama Yiddish. How you how you feel to be? Do, do you feel like you're a part of the UFC since you haven't got that fight, or it's kind of bitter? Be ready to fight, and the person don't make way, and then it, how it went down. Yeah, I mean, even though the fight, the physical fight didn't actually happen. I mean, I went through all of the adrenaline, like just uh, pumping through my veins, and then like just the adrenaline dump of it not happening. So, I um, mean, all the training camp uh, happened too. So even though I didn't fight, I still had that. Uh, Gain that experience of just kind of um, going through the life of a fighter. And uh, what, what type of fighter, whenever you get back in the cage, what type of fighter are we going to see? Are we going to see anything different from what you showed on The Ultimate Fighter, which was a great show? Oh, what am, like, how am I going to be different? Yeah, what, what, have you, what, what, have you, what wrinkles have you added to your game? Yeah, um, you know, I've been working a lot of boxing, um, just kind of, you know, letting my kicks come out naturally versus um, trying to be a kickboxer. Um, I, my hands, I feel like, are way better than my kicks. Um, even though my kicks are creative and elusive, um, I, I have more confidence in my hands, and that's kind of a big chain, uh, game changer in my in, in my uh, style. But there, uh, there's so many other changes that's been happening. So it's more discipline, uh, just more a mature approach to the game and in life in general. Do you, do you think that's a bad aspect? A lot of people think you're older than what you are, and you got all this experience already. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm dealing with 26 year old stuff at 23. So yeah, this, I mean, there's some like mental uh, processes happening at a very rapid rate, and uh, but it's, it's all cool. I mean, I'd rather it happen, um, you know, faster because where am I going to be in the next, you know, five, ten years? It's been as, since you're up and coming, Strawway, talk about the division. Y'all, y'all division straight nuts. It is straight nuts. Uh, I mean, you got flying armbars, you got people knocking people out in, in such a small way, you know. Um, you got all kinds of crazy, you know, uh, styles just coming together and personalities and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I think it's still it's still going to be evolving. There's still going to be random people that are just really good coming up uh, in the division, and I'm excited for it. What's it going to take to get that belt for Miss... Joanna. It's a hard work. <laughs> it's a hard work. Yeah, no, Miss Young J Chick. Yeah, no, just just stay the course. Uh, just keep going and, and maturing, and um, I'll, I'll get there real soon. Being a competitor, what do you think when you see her just basically destroy chicks at a world class and making them look like they shouldn't even be in the ring with her? Yeah, I mean, well. I kind of expected, like, I predict a certain thing, so, um, it's, to me, it's like, I was, you know, the, the world's like, Whoo! you know, like, JJ or whatever, but, um, that's kind of what I expected, I, I already kind of seen that in her coming up, so, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so, what are you going to bring to the table when you, because, so we know sooner or later, y'all pass are going to cross. Of course, yeah, I mean, you guys are just going to have to see, it's going to be fireworks, and, uh, yeah, this is. And, uh, um, talk, talk, you talk about working on your kids and stuff, are you still going to stay with your dynamic striking, just going? Oh, yeah. and fun. Come it's always going to be dynamic. I always have a creative approach to everything, and I'm always changing too. I'm not like just one mold. Um, I, I feel like I change, and just as MMA is evolving as well. Do you think going through coming from the um, the Ultimate Fighter Fighter show? Do you think that helped you, or did that? Like, I'm not giving you exposure, but it helped you as a fighter, or yeah. did it hurt you? Because it's kind of a weird every situation. Every experience, every experience in my life helps me. Like whether you know, uh, every decision that I make is always you know the right decision, even if I make mistakes. So I know. I know I'm on the right track regardless. And, but, and of course, you, you can't close to getting the belt. Does, does coming so close kind of keep you motivated to get that, to put that belt around your waist sooner or later one of these days? Like coming so close to it? Yeah, coming so Yeah, I mean, uh, it's definitely a, a little tease there, you know. Um, I was so close to it, and now it's like two, two steps forward, one step back, but it's always constantly moving forward. Is it like you got your eyes set on to climb up the rankings? Mm. No, no, they're all they're all just another opponent. <laughs> yes, it's like you've been hanging out with Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, it, it's a business, you know. Um, I, I fight whoever, whenever. But uh, you know, there, there's also a strategy to it. There's also my life, you know, and it's always gonna sink. And when when are you um, looking to get back into the cage? Um, I, I say about expect the announcement to come real soon. Um, I know I, I've had certain options and stuff like that, so uh, just just stay tuned. All right, well, stay tuned. Look forward to seeing you getting that first win, that octagon, Ms. Nama Awesome, yeah, thank you.